Ladies and gentlemen, match number two for the day. We've got Raxas versus New. It is a best out of three. Here we go, pre-bans. I am wondering if Raxas is going to pre-ban one of New's light dark units like the Nestus or the Volantis or that Feng Yan that New is known well for. New, well Raxas doesn't have any light, rare light dark units that he likes to use, but maybe the Chung Pong. Here we go, pre-bans are in. The Volantis gets the ban. The Marsha gets the ban. Few seconds, both players to decide what they'll draft against each other. Indeed, the Masher is a sensible unit for New to ban because it is a fire unit, so that then he can pick his Feng Yan. Here we go, Raxas very quickly picking that first unit, Dominic, onto his draft. New responding also very quickly and picking up that Juno and Oliver for his first and second unit. I really like that Dominic pick. It sing signals potentially a lot of aggression, raw damage, and I wonder if he's going to pair that with more raw damage. Something like a Mo Long, or if he's just going to go his usual draft AO units like the Maw. Here we go. Raxas goes with the Praha and the Mo Long locked in for second and third unit. New goes with the Wusa for third unit. I really like that Mo Long pick. As I said, the Praha. Got to be a little bit careful because a little bit weak to the Oliver reset, but at the same time, Praha has such a loaded kit, especially with the buff she's had recently, bringing a speed buff for the team. There we go. New locking in that Wusa and Nana for his second and third, uh, fourth, uh, third and fourth unit. Raxas locking in his two final units, Tableau and Changpang. It looks like both players are bringing drafts that we're not super familiar with. New has not brought out his Feng Yang or his Neftis in this draft. Rex has, of course, bringing some tankier units. But at the same time, that Chong Pong, if that Chong Pong tableau combination is let through, then the Chong Pong is going to be able to do steel 2 into skill 3. So I'm sure New will ban it out as he has done. New locks in that ability for his final pick. Raxas opts in with the 24 speed lead. New goes with the Wusa accuracy lead. Here we go, guys. Match number two, New versus Raxas. It is the best out of three. And we got that Wusa moving first, puts up that shield and will. I'm wondering if Raxas is going to have to be careful around the Abelio passive in order to not bring a unit below 30%, 40% HP rather, so that the passive doesn't trigger. Here we go, Merlong Dragon's Dance. Oh, manages to stun that Wusa, fails to strip the Nana. I think if Raxas had actually made his Merlong move before, after the Dominic rather, it would have been better because the Dominic uh, can take a unit down to just above 40% and the Merlong Rex would have finished off. But unfortunately, that's not happened and Abelia has been able to get the AoE heal up. Here we go, Tableau on Raxas' side is about to take a turn. He goes with a skill 2, lands the slow on the Wu and the Abilio. Juno, ooh, some serious damage into that Tableau with the defense break. This is a bit of an awkward situation for Raxas because the Molong got provoked and then now he's gotten stunned. Still has not been able to use the Reckless. But of course, if he does use the Reckless, gotta be careful. The Nana is still on the field, the Nana can bring extra uh, souls and extra stacks and extra lives for his team. There we go, Reckless Assault into Wusa. Wusa is out of this match, but he is back in the match from that Soul Harvest with the Nana. We saw that Dominic moves right after Merlong, taking that Wusa out again for the second time. Juno stuns the, oh, the Tableau. That was a big stun, Nana taking out that Merlong, getting the extra stack. Abilia is still asleep in. This is an extra stack for the Nana. The Molong decided to, I, I believe, I guess it's a Violent Molong rather than Vampire Molong. I think in this draft, a Vampire Molong would have been better so that he was a little bit healthier and wouldn't have been taken <laughs> out. But if this Dominic keeps procking and procking, then it <laughs> does not matter. This Dominic doesn't care about elemental advantage or disadvantage. Improvisation, weakness shot, and additional turn. Taking out that Juno. Here we go. Nana with the defense break. Lands it on two out of the three units. Tableau lands the slow. Additional turn. Goes again. Oh, he gets the uh, juice. Gets another this turn. is what we know Tableau can do. Tableau does not care about the violent restriction because his additional turns are actually from his skills he gets additional turns he rolls the same number and he was able to do that a couple of times and it'll be really exciting to see a tableau really just absolutely go off as we get got to see just now 
There we go, Abilio. All skills on cooldown. Only oh, gets an additional turn. Gets that. Oh, he's going into that Praha. Dominic, improvisation, weakness shot. Takes out the Abilio. Raxas take out. Takes out that first point. It is the best out of three. This match is not over just yet. I tell you what, lads. Rax says there, GG's. We saw actually the beginning of the match there. Both players being relatively cautious there, Bows. But that Dominic, obviously, we, had, we talked about Dominic in the past, last weekend, this weekend too. Obviously, in the last matchup, um, the last uh, bracket round, we didn't we didn't get to see Dominic too much. But the devastating damage he can do if he procs, and he procs again and again, was such a massive, massive bit of advantage there for Vraxas. Precisely. If you leave a Dominic on the field too long, he's going to punish you. And the thing is, Newt did not bring very much damage. Once that Oliver was banned out, there was barely anything. It was just a bunch of supports the revive and then two healers. So there was just not so much going on on new side of the field. Nana is usually power paired well with raw damage to give her extra stacks. So I wasn't a huge fan of new's draft, whilst Raxas's draft was really nice. Just a lot of a lot of stuff going on paired with, as we know, his high rune and artifact quality was able to do the job. Indeed it was. I mean, obviously we have ourselves the new pick and ban here, the next matchup here. Raxaz gets one more victory. He progresses to the next round this afternoon. We lose New, but New still has a chance here to get back into the game. Let's see what happens. Bows Killer, let's do this. As summoners, match two, set two. It is 1-0. Raxas one, new zero. It is the best out of three pre-bans are in. The Feng Yang gets the ban. The Oliver gets the ban. That is actually incredible. The respect ban on the Feng Yang. Choosing to ban out the Feng Yang rather than something like the Nephthys. Here we go. New picking up that Juno for his first unit. That is a really, really early Juno pick. I wonder what's going on here. If he fears the Dominic or the Chung Pong picks from Raxas. Taken out of your mouth, boss. Dominic is picked up by Raxas and the Praha for his first and second unit. New goes with the Valentis and the Wusa for second and third unit. I feel like if New had the Dominic himself, that might have been a better choice just to take that Dominic from Raxas rather than bringing a Dominic counter. But New has two AoE strippers on the table, so I feel like that's setting up for a Nephthys. Raxas is going to have to think about that. He can't pick the Juno because the Juno is already gone, but he can pick something like the unit he's flashing right now. Or Veramos would probably be better than that Tetra pick, I think. I'm not sure if Raxas is uh, listening to you or reading your mind because he did pick up that Tetra and he's ex expecting the Nephthys, which New just picked up for his fourth unit. Raxas locks in that Masha for his fourth unit. I feel like Raxas picking the Tetra before the Nephthys is even come up is going to lead to New not bringing out that Nephthys. I do wonder if New has a different option available though. I feel like from what it sees, he doesn't actually have an alternative unit to pick. Here we go, New picking up that Nephthys for his fourth unit and the uh, Dark Moor as the fifth unit. Striker. Yeah, very Dark interesting. Striker. I think a Shizuka might be a decent pick here at, right now, or just the Veramos, as I mentioned earlier. And the Veramos comes out and is locked in for Rex's final draft. Indeed, Rex has not representing a huge amount of strips apart from the Praha. Here we go, the bands are in, Tetra and the Dark Striker get the ban. It is match point for Raxas. Here we go, New versus Raxas, set number two. Wusa takes that first turn, puts up that shield and immunity. Valantis follows up, lands the glance scene and the strip on everyone on Raxas's side. It is a shame that the Dark Striker, the Van Cliff, got banned out in that match because I was really looking forward to seeing what he could do. I think that it wasn't necessarily necessary to ban out the the, um, the Van Cliff. He could have banned potentially the uh, Volantis, which probably I feel like brings a little bit more to the field. But let's see how it goes. Of course, the Praha does have the strip available to make those Wuza Brief Bus redundant, but she does have a glancing. There we go. She goes for the strip, lands the strip on three out of four units, gets a counter from Volantis and gets stunned up. Oh, Dominic gets an additional turn, taking out that Nephthys. Wow, this is huge. Volantis follows up into Raxas's team, dealing some damage. Veramos takes the turn and gets a small heal. There we go. Once again, the power of Dominic. Don't, if you don't bring units that can take 
out Dominic quickly. Dominic is going to do what he saw just there. And of course, Glancing doesn't matter on Dominic because his passive is just fixed damage based on his attack. And to be honest, even if the Praha and the Masha weren't on the field anymore, this Dominic will probably quite easily take out the Wusa and the Juna. There we go, Juna skill one into that. Uh, Dominic takes another turn, getting that attack bar. Dominic into Wusa, dealing some serious damage. Wusa skill three goes up, shield and will is up on new side. Masha, skill two is available, skill one is available. Lands it into Wusa, does little damage to break that shield. Actually, the additional damage from Juno's artifacts from you were really nice. So, quite impressive, but I suppose the Dominic is probably quite an efficient Dominic. It has high attack, it's probably quite tanky as well, but at the same time, maybe not as tanky as some Dominics might be. But yeah, this is just overall a really solid performance from Raktaz, bringing the damage from the Dominic and the Masha, and it was just not enough. New just did not have the same level of damage, Raktaz really utilizing the meta units perfectly. There we go, not looking too healthy for New right now. Praha gets another turn, takes out that Juno. Raxas, clean sweep with a 2-0 over New. Moving on to losers round two later this evening.